Okay, from the time of me being diagnosed with diabetes is after my fourth child. I was, um, what do you call it, gestational diabetes yeah. at pregnancy, yeah. When I was pregnant, so yeah. So roughly in my 30, after 15 years, I can feel the effects of diabetes for what it was doing to me, like having strange symptoms, numbness in my fingers and my feet, my blood sugars were high, fatigue got into me, didn't have the energy to do the things that I used to do, wearing shoes, it didn't matter what shoes I would wear oils would just come up, oils. If you can't feel it, there's no pain, no feeling. And I've been into hospital two, three, four times. God knows how it happened, but I've managed to save my toe. But then I had the other oxygen on my other feet. And yeah, and in the, in the um, process of recovery, but very slow. So it all depends on what what you put down, down your system, really. Yeah. And like, well, we never know about diabetes, you know, the original people. The things that, that our kids buy today from the stores are just, you know, it's just ridiculous, you know. As soon as they walk in the stores, they see all variety of sweets, junk food. Go to the McDonald's today. How many cars are in the driveway? Then the cones in the shop. It has impact our lives today. Yeah, and then get little kids, you get our baby, like generation eating sweets before they walk. They're already putting sweets in their mouth. Everybody, has, they don't limit their standard drinks. They drink to get drunk and like alcohol. Same as any other drinks. Has, we don't know how many sugars that they have. I can use myself as a data to the people in the community and you can use my story as an example Say, hey, come on, we, better, we need to do something about the kids, do something about the community, you know. Get the kids off the junk food, get them active again, get them motivated, doing sports and getting into everyday 